Hello, and welcome back to Instant GMP's orientation videos. This is video three of three. In the previous video, we gave an overview of the NPR process flow. This video will discuss the BPR process flow with ordering materials needed for production, receiving and approving those materials, generating a BPR from the manufacturing team, making entries in the BPR, and adding the final product to inventory for distribution. Like baking a cake, before you begin cooking, you need to purchase all the ingredients. The same ideology applies to BPR and requisitions. When purchasing materials, qualified vendors should only be used, and these materials should have site specifications which have been approved by your quality unit. Any material on site should have a material safety data sheet in case of an emergency or spill. A certificate of analysis is needed for each material used in the manufacturing of a product, and this is just a list of tests from the material vendor. It will state if it has met their own specifications with the summation of their testing results. In the requisition screen, you begin by choosing a vendor from your list, which vendor materials you wish to see and which project you wish to associate the ordered material with. If you have your own PO system, you can enter it into our system. You can set a needed by date, which will be necessary when utilizing MRP. This will be explained in a future video. Approvers can be added for management review before requisitions are finalized. From here, you can choose the material you wish to order. The requisition will auto-fill the information associated with that material during the initial entry. The software is designed to convert weight-to-weight -weight and volume-to-volume -volume unit changes. This means you can order the material in a different unit if it is still a weight-to-weight -weight or volume-to-volume. -volume. The system does not convert weight-to-volume or volume-to-weight. Once you've finished your requisition and the approvers have signed, a receipt is created. The receipt maintains all pertinent information, including the requisition number. This receipt will be the primary tracking component for auditing purposes. You will log the vendor lot number, date received, expiry date, retest date, and upload any attachments associated with the history of the material. Once all the materials have been received and added to inventory management, you are ready to use the BPR. Before going into the BPR overview, let's understand why BPRs are important. BPRs are records that explain the who, what, when, where, why, and how of a production process. The FDA needs you to be able to answer all these questions if a product is found to cause some issue to the consumer. You may also need to answer this internally if you're performing an investigation on yourself. Without a BPR where you can record all the steps necessary to produce your product, there is no supporting documentation to support the efficacy of your product. It also ensures uniformity from batch to batch. By laying out each step with the same limits, ranges, and checks and balances with documented proof that these steps were completed correctly, then you can say you are producing a quality product. This isn't to say an issue won't go wrong, but with strong supporting documentation of your product, if an issue arises, it will be easily identified by reviewing the production record. This is the batch production record screen. If you remember the layout of the NPR screen, you will notice they are identical except for the final tab. Everything will look the same as the NPR the BPR was created from. The final tab was the NPR approver in the last video, whereas in the BPR one, it is a BPR reviewer tab. This tab instantly reviews the entirety of the BPR to assure all steps have been completed and all required entries have been made. One other small difference is the manufacturing instructions tab. In the NPR, you are creating the instructions for operators. In the BPR, your operators can fill in the steps based on what you have required for this step. This is an example of a manufacturing instruction step in a BPR. In this example, inventory was used by an operator and it logged the, all the pertinent information regarding this step. Material receipt, vendor lot number, quantity used, who used the inventory, and when they used it. If you notice near the bottom, attachments can be uploaded regarding a step such as a weight tape or pH meter printoff. You can enter a comment and even record a deviation on a step if a problem arose. Once all the manufacturing instructions have been completed, the product would be added to inventory where distribution follows closely. Just like materials being used in manufacturing, manufactured materials should be shipped after they have been approved by the quality team. Whether by land, sea, or air, the product should be shipped in a manner that maintains the same quality it had before leaving your site. This may require special packaging or storage conditions during shipping, and if an issue is found after the product has been shipped, a recall system should be in place. This is an image of the inventory history pertaining to one receipt of a material. The software will track every instance that product was used, removed, added, or shipped to keep you aware of current inventory levels. A different perspective of this can be seen in the production lot traceability, which allows you to see all materials used in one batch. The other is the vendor lot traceability, which allows you to see all the site batches created that used one vendor lot across your site. Both are extremely useful when determining your product impact if a vendor sends a recall to your site. 
So as a summation of the past three videos, incorporating GMPs is complex and thorough. Depending on your industry, regulatory requirements can have a wide array. If you want high quality products, you should incorporate these into your production processes, and the Instant GMP software creates that foundation for a GMP manufacturing facility. Please continue moving through the support videos to help yourself understand Instant GMP software and the many different modules we have to offer. Thank you and have a wonderful day.